Hello and welcome back to our final video on consciousness. Today we're going to take a look at altered states of consciousness and ways you change your consciousness using either medications and drugs or through meditation. So let's start by taking a look at psychoactive drugs. These are drugs that change our consciousness. And there's a couple of terms you want to be familiar with when we talk about drug use, such as dependence and tolerance, right, as we build up an adaptation to the drug that causes us to need more of the drug in order to feel its effects. And withdrawal, when we give up the drug and start to feel the effects of the physical and psychological dependence. There are three categories of psychoactive drugs and some specific drugs inside of those categories that you'll want to be familiar with. We have our stimulants, our depressants, and our hallucinogens. So let's start by talking about the stimulants. And the ones that you'll want to be familiar with are cocaine, caffeine, nicotine, and amphetamines. So these are stimulants because they speed up a lot of bodily functions such as heart rate and breathing. The first one is cocaine. And cocaine is a stimulant that is associated with about a 15 to 30 minute high, and then there is a crash. If you remember from our neuroscience unit, cocaine is a dopamine agonist, meaning it mimics dopamine in the brain, but it doesn't work the exact same way, which is what makes it both highly addictive and causes changes in our brain that can cause things like heart problems and other health risks. Caffeine is our legal stimulant. We can take caffeine in a variety of forms from sodas to coffee, and this will increase our alertness and wakefulness, but you still can be physically dependent on it even though it is a legal stimulant. Nicotine, often associated with cigarettes, is another stimulant that increases arousal but also gives people a sense of well-being and it is very highly addictive. And then amphetamines and methamphetamines are drugs that give an increased experience of euphoria and alertness, but methamphetamines in particular also come with side effects such as paranoia, convulsions, delusions, and also being highly dependent. The second category are depressants. And in the depressant category, we have alcohol, barbiturates, and opiates. Alcohol is probably the most common depressant. And one of the common fallacies is that alcohol in different doses has different effects, but it is always a depressant. But when someone initially ingests alcohol, one of the first things that is depressed is a person's inhibition. So we see a slowing of the sympathetic nervous system and that helps to relax people. They may become as a result more social or outgoing, but it still is depressing their nervous system and is a depressant. As the dose gets larger and larger, we just start to see more depressant effects, such as the reactions that slow, the speech that slurs, and skill performance deteriorates as well. Barbiturates are another type of depressant that we typically see in things like sleep aids. So these help to induce sleep or reduce anxiety. But in very large doses, it can impair memory and judgment. And in very large doses, such as overdosing, it can actually cause death. And opiates are a third type of depressant. And this also depresses neural functioning as well as sitting on our endorphin receptor sites. So we often see them as pain-killing medications, such as morphine. In illegal forms, opiates could be things like opium or heroin. And our final category of psychoactive drugs are hallucinogens. And in this category, we have marijuana and LSD. Marijuana is considered a hallucinogen because of the active ingredient THC. And that is what gives it its mild hallucinogenic properties. LSD and other hallucinogens can cause more severe hallucinations as well as other side effects such as dilated pupils, loss of appetite, increase in heart rate, and so on. And the effects can range from anything from euphoria to detachment. The only other psychoactive drug you want to be familiar with is ecstasy or MDMA. And this doesn't fall into any single category because it's both a stimulant and a mild hallucinogen and there are a variety of different effects that ecstasy has on the body. And the thing with ecstasy as well 
is that it doesn't react the same way every time, which can cause a lot of long-term effects as a result of continuous use. So the things to remember when it comes to these different psychoactive drugs is be able to recognize their classifications, so which category they fall under, and for certain drugs, also their characteristics, such as cocaine, nicotine, alcohol, opiates, LSD, marijuana, and ecstasy. Finally, the newest area of altered states of consciousness, and a very strange transition here, is to meditation. But the reason why we look at meditation as well, because it is also an altered state of consciousness. The goal of meditation is to reduce the activity of the mind and generate a new mode of conscious awareness. And there's a lot of research that shows that meditation can actually achieve this, that it can increase the plasticity of our brain and increase the gray matter of our brain where increased processing takes place. It can also help relieve tension-related pain. It can reduce stress. It can increase our conscious awareness and improve our mood. So there's a whole host of benefits to utilizing a meditation practice in our daily life. So I encourage you to give it a shot. Try a meditation practice. I even have some short five minute meditations on this YouTube channel if you wanna take a look at them and give them a shot and see if you experience any of these benefits. But that's where we'll go ahead and stop for our consciousness unit. By now we've seen what happens when we fall asleep at night, the stages of sleep, the different disorders, the dream theories, and ways that consciousness can be altered either through drug use or meditation. I hope this gives you a better idea about what sleep is, why we need it, and some of the most amazing phenomenon that are associated with it. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, be kind to your mind.